Most of us Warcraft 3D artists use WoW Model Viewer to export items and characters from Warcraft to our 3D program of choice. I use Blender. However, you can't get buildings or full map tiles with WoW Model Viewer. For that, you need to use WoW Tools by Marlamin and Kruisne. So here's how you do that. To download it, you go to wow.tools, you click Export up here, it takes you to this page, you click Download here and save it wherever. Once you've downloaded it, this is a zip file, you need to extract it, just select everything like that and copy it to wherever you want to install it. Once you have unzipped it, click WOW Export Exe. More info, run anyway. Then it tells us here we need to update it, so let's do that. It's updated. Here it says open local installation. Just click here, it usually just goes to your WOW folder. You don't need to click anything else, just select folder. You can select whether you want the retail or the classic, and I suppose this is languages? I don't know. Hmm. It's up and running. Before we start actually exporting things, let's go to the settings up here, designate a folder to, to export all the stuff we want, and apply. Then we go here to the Blender icon and say Install Automatically. This installs the add-on that actually allows us to import and export from Blender. Once we've done that, go back. Up here, there are the five categories of things we can export. Textures is self-explanatory. Check or uncheck transparency according to what you need. Audio, the same. Some of them don't work. Video, the same. Some of them don't work. Maps complicated, I'll get to that at the end of the tutorial, and models, which is why we're all here. There are three kinds of models we can import. The small ones, items, creatures, trees, flowers, are called M2. The bigger ones, buildings and castles and so on, are called WMO, and they often have M2s linked to them inside, like a building with all the furniture. And the huge ones, the full map tile of terrain, are called ADT. Here on the side with the Model tab, we can choose which of the first two the list displays, WMOs, M2, or both. We'll get to ADTs later in the Map section. Under the Models tab, you can either browse manually and find anything you want, or you can type here in the search field and find things like that nice half. However, I already selected one for demonstration. It's this one from Suramar. Here you can hide the exterior or the interior. And down here you can select which doodad set you want to import with your building. Like that. Don't try importing both of them together because you just get a mess and you can't separate them in Blender. Now you click export. It takes a few seconds. Once it's exported, we can take it to Blender and play with it. Just remember this, this URL so you can find the model. Let's fire up Blender, and first we need to enable the add-on. Go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, type WOW in here, find it, and enable it. It saves it automatically. So now we can go File, Import, WOW OBJ, find your designated folder, find it within that, Once I found the folder, I'm just going to paste the, uh, the name of the model here. Import. Boom, we have it here. From here, we can see we have the WMO, which is the building, and under it, we have the doodads, which are all the items. I'm going to hide the WMO. Here are all our items here. Let me hide the relationship line so we can see stuff. This is it. It's very, very easy. You might have to go and, and clean some materials, fix alpha channels. Aside from that, it's just ready to go. Use it as your set, have fun with it. And this pretty much finishes the WMO part. This is all very nice, but if you have an outdoor scene and you want to spare yourself manually positioning 30 trees, you're going to want to use the map option. It's found in here. With this, you can import the full map tile complete with foliage, trees, buildings, things inside the buildings, and even mist and light shafts. So let's see how we do this. The maps here, all the maps in the game are here. They're chronologically ordered. You can type in anything to filter it. I'm going to go with Kulteras. Once I've selected the map I desire, I need to let it load. 
I can navigate this using the middle mouse wheel. Just drag the map. And to select a tile, you need to shift left click it. Like that. I selected this one, Fort Dalian. In here I have a few options, they're pretty self-explanatory. The terrain texture quality is the resolution of the texture. Don't go with ultra, this is quite insane. I think high is heavy enough, but it's okay. Then you click export one tile and be ready to wait anything between 1 minute to 12 minutes. Once it's exported, the only thing we need to remember is the name of the map and the tile. The tile is listed down here, so my map is called Tiras and the tile is 2925. Let's go to Blender, File, Import, WoW OBJ, Designated Folder, Maps, The Map, and 2925. Now we import and we wait because this could take a little while. Once it's opened in Blender, and on my six-year-old computer this took a bit over one minute, all we can see is a bunch of relationship lines. We can't actually see our tile, and this is because while the center of our tile, the origin of it, is here in the center of the world, the tile itself is somewhere in the ass end of the world, specifically where it is on the WoW coordinates. What we need to do this, uh, to solve this, sorry, we select this here on the outliner, then we hit numpad zero, to focus on selected. Here we have the, the tile. Now I'm going to bring it back to the center of the world. We do this by selecting the tile, going to object, set origin, origin to geometry, then it was brought here. I'm going to open the null shelf here and to set the location to 000. zero, zero. And now if I zoom in on it, it is in the center of the world. I'm going to actually take the view and make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to hide all these relationship lines because they are not nice. And this is it. You have the entire tile. Some materials need a bit of work before you start working with them, like the alpha channels that need fixing. And sometimes I can see here on the, uh, on the, well, on the oil stains that are supposed to be on the water here, you can just change the alpha clip to alpha blend, and then they blend better. The water is not imported, sadly, but it's very, very easy to manually create. And then you can just go and position your camera wherever you want. Let's see. Here, because I think this is beautiful. Like that. I've changed the camera proportion from portrait to landscape because I think it fits it better. And I'm going to play a bit with the sun to see if I can find a, a better lighting. Maybe, no, this is, this is actually nice. Here we go, this is it. If we, um, if we throw a bit of subdivs, if we fix a few of the materials to, to you know, take this light and, and change it from the default of alpha clip, which is harsh, to alpha blend, which is, well, blended, then we pretty much got ourselves a set with very, very little work. I'm going to hit F12 and render this. Et voila, a ready set. Just place your characters in and roll. Now this is a WoW Tools tutorial, not a Blender tutorial. If you want to learn Blender, the best place to start is, in my opinion, with Andrew Price, better known as Blender Guru. And if you want to specifically learn Blender for making Warcraft art, you're welcome to watch my streams on Twitch or drop by my Discord server. The links are all in the description. Endless kudos to Marlamin and Kruithner who wrote this wonderful software for us to make art with. Good luck and go have fun making pretty art.